Hi everyone, so I'm back at the hospital at NIH today for treatment. Um, I've had a busy morning already, it's uh, just after lunchtime now. Um, I've just ordered my food, so waiting for that to arrive before my treatment um, comes. But I, I was in early this morning because I had to have an MRI scan uh, before I went for my bloods uh, at 7 a.m. So it's been a long day already. Um, but uh, just because I've had a little bit of additional back pain, I've had a bit more problem uh, with back pain over the last couple of weeks, which has kind of gotten a little bit worse. Um, I've had problems sleeping, and of course your first thought is that, you know, I've got new tumours, but thankfully that's not the case. Um, I had my MRI scan this morning, and my oncologist, um, I met with him uh, earlier on before I just came down here, and he had a chat with the radiologist, and it doesn't look like there's any new tumours, um, and the tumour mass that I have, kind of, which may be impinging on a nerve or something, hasn't gotten any bigger and it doesn't look like it's um, touching on any nerves so there's no real explanation as to why my pain is worse. Um, the only thing he can come up with is that sometimes with these immunotherapy drugs um, they can inflame um, the surrounding tissue and surrounding uh, you know any problems that may already have been there. Um, and I would have had problems with my back years ago now after my car accident, so it could just be flaring up, um, but I'm very delighted and relieved, I can tell you, that uh, it's not any tumour-related activity, so that's, that's good. So uh, he's just up my dose of my pain medication, so we're hoping that that might work. Um, and uh, please, can I get this settled down? Um, and it won't get any worse. Um, I mean, I'm still able to get around more or less. Um, but my walking you now has been affected. I kind of have to stop and start, but you know, I'm getting there. Uh, in other news, so the other thing, the big question I wanted to ask my oncologist today uh, was about going home, and I was so nervous um, going in about asking him. Not that I'm afraid he'd say no, but I just thought he might say, well, maybe at the end of the summer that really would have floored me now, because I just don't think I can last that long without seeing my kids. So basically my initial idea was that I would get Jim and the kids over um, on, a, on a visa over here and, and stay for the summer, but I just heard some horror stories from people who have been trying to get over here who, you know, have very valid reasons for coming here um, who have been refused. Um, so the, 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 the uh, regulations are very, very strict at the moment about coming into the States. Um, and I would imagine it's probably going to be like it is at home. They're only going to allow people who are vaccinated to come in. So Jim uh, is obviously not vaccinated. He's not in that category yet. Um, I mean, I think you're at the 65 to 69 stage at the moment at home because I know my parents are waiting to get called. But, you know, he's, he's far off of that. So, you know, there's no way he's going to be vaccinated before the end of the summer. So I just think before I even start the process of applying for visas, I was already getting stressed thinking about it, to be quite honest. And I kind of feel that if I did apply for the visas and, I, and they were refused, I think it would be just a blow that I couldn't take, to be quite honest at the moment. I, I, I'm missing the kids so much and missing home um, that I, you know, I think the smallest thing would literally drive me over the edge. So even today now when I was talking to my oncologist, the minute I started talking about, you know, wanting to go home to see my kids, I started crying. So um good love the poor man didn't know where to look. Anyway, um so he said, Absolutely, Vicky, he said, I will definitely, you know, love to see you getting home for a break and he said, um I said, but I'd love to get over home for a month, at least a month. And he said, absolutely. He said, we'll try and get you home for at least a month, it's been a bit longer. Um, and we're aiming towards July now at this stage. So, oh my God, the relief is just huge. So now I just need to <coughs> extend my own visa. So my visa was for six months initially. Um, so I just need to extend that. And that's not going to be, I hope, not going to be a big problem. 
Um, and I know now with the mandatory hotel quarantine that has been lifted for people that are vaccinated and I'm obviously vaccinated. So it means that I won't be spending, you know, any time in a hotel when I come home. I can just go straight uh, and see my kids, basically, because I, I couldn't do the hotel quarantine now. It's bad enough. Not having seen them for already over three months, um, I couldn't be in the country and not see them for another two weeks. So that's the plan that I'll get home for at least a month and spend some time, obviously, mainly with the kids, but also with my parents and my friends and, uh, you know, get a good chunk of time at home. And it'll also be a good time to be at home away from the heat over here because the heat gets ridiculously hot over here in July and August. So it's a good time for me to go. Um, what else? Uh, I'm okay at the moment. I think I'm just a little bit more fragile. I think I get upset quite a lot easily because I'm really missing the kids. Um, they're finding it hard too. You know, it's very hard talking to them every day, not knowing when I'm going to see them. So at least now um, we're going to wait for my scan. So I have another scan coming up next month uh, in May. And be able to plan then uh, when I will be able to go home. So I'm not going to, you know, say anything to the kids yet about a date until after the scan um, in May, and then I'll be able to hopefully plan and book my flights and come home. And at least then, when I'm talking to the kids, I'll be able to say, see, in you know, four weeks or five weeks or whatever at the moment, you know, because there's no timeline. Um, it's just getting really hard when I don't know when I'm going to see them uh, and vice versa for them. Yeah, so that's the good news for today. Anyway, so I'm just waiting now um, to go in for my treatment and to have my lunch. Um, I just thought I'd send a, a quick update on that. Um, and I just wanted to give a quick plug to um, the dressing room of Gory because Hazel um, sent me on a few things that I wanted to bring with me and my mother sent them over to me and this top, I just love it, it's a long black sleeve black top it's just really comfy it's kind of like wearing a big baggy jumper but it's very thin so it's great for this weather but thank you Hazel um, because obviously she hasn't answered my messages about taking money off me um, which was not the intention when I contacted her one of my cousins had one of her tops on and I really liked it, it was just that um, so thank you very much, Hazel, and the dressing room in Gory. So any of you out there who are looking for some really nice bits, um, they have some lovely stuff. Um, other than that, I will love you and leave you, and I'll probably post another um, update maybe at the weekend, because I'm going to do a bit of sightseeing, so I'll, set, I'll put up a few um, pictures and videos from my sightseeing around Washington, D.C., which I'm really looking forward to. Okay, thank you, everybody. Bye.